Good morning, all. It is yet another beautiful day. It's a little chilly today. It's probably like 68 degrees right about now. It's, and it'll warm up here when it gets a little bit, a little bit warmer. <laughs> well, when the sun gets up. So, back at the track, back at the track. Man, I tell you, we need some rain, something fierce. It has not rained in a while. Um, Paul's been out watering the fields, uh, everything, trying to keep the grass green. We had a little sprinkle yesterday, but not, not enough to really do us anything um, other than really nothing. So, uh, today, man, I got to get back to the back back there, back behind uh, the big uh, containers back there. There's a lot of... A lot of stuff needs to kind of get organized and straightened up. So that's my plan today. I, oh, yesterday as I was moving the boat that's been in the background for years, I got that out of the way. I hurt my back when I was undoing the thing, my lower back. So I'll be grunting and groaning a lot like I used to do. All right, let's go. I'll be using this guy right here to assist me. Oh, four, 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 H. Key on, the glow plugs warm up. Paul's an animal. That guy loves that weed eater, man. He's like one with the weed eater. So that eliminates a lot of stuff that I have to do over here as far as weed eating. Uh, Paul says he's gonna weed eat all day today too. So I guess he's gonna go over to Gator back and get all the, the little wild hairs knocked down. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all this straightened up, kind of get some of our, our tools back over here, organized, pick up some of the trash and stuff that's over here. Uh, it's been a while since uh, this area's had any attention. So that's my goal today. And uh, Paul already did a bunch of it, so that's pretty cool. I got to get the metal roofs over here. There's some metal roof pans and stuff. I got to get all those organized, put together. And I got to actually put some on top of this container because it has a leak. So I need to do that too. Uh, pipes. But yeah. Man, Paul, man, you did awesome, dude. Paul doesn't watch my YouTube channel, so I'll tell him later on when I see him. Oh, you're falling. Oh. There you go. Stay like that. Ah, you fucking. It's right there. Can you do it? You guys just aren't, you guys aren't staying up. Here, put it right there. Got it. All right. So here's here's my thought today. Um, so these old markers here, Paul says we use these for the vintage races. So I'm going to kind of organize these a little bit better. Um, and we have all these wooden snakes. These are old wooden snakes. And we have a ton of new ones in there. So I'm probably going to kind of get these straightened up, maybe get rid of the old, yuckier ones. Cause look here, come here, I'll show you. We have a bunch of them inside, brand new. Obviously, we got the trash. Let's see. Again, this is our container with all our banners and stuff. As you can see back here, we got a whole bushel, brand new there. All these back here, barrels of brand new ones. Oh, sorry. So, yeah, there's a lot of them. So my thoughts are to. Uh, uh, utilize the new ones for this uh, this race this year since um, we got them all in there we got a bunch of old ones so I'm just gonna start straightening up um, it looks like these are all broken these are track 
markers. So we line the track with these things, and then when the riders hit them, they just you know they don't they don't get hurt, or they're not wooden stakes to snap off. Whoa. So yeah, these are all broken ones. Which why we have a big giant box of broken ones? I don't know. So these are going to the dumpster. And if these are not broken, and Paul says, yeah, these aren't broken. Paul says these are what we use for the vintage races. We'll go dump these and we'll put these in here. So, yeah. Man, there's a lot of wood space. But first, we need to move these. But who knows what we'll find in here. Oh, yesterday, I, um, when I was tightening up the fence, I was tightening it down and there, there was a little red rat snake. And I tightened the fence down, but tightened up just enough where it didn't crush him, but he got, he was wedged. So I had to go and undo the screw and get him out. But who knows what kind of snakes we'll find in here. Maybe none. Ugh. Hey, you want to see a cool barrel? That's just cool. Look how use look how useful this is. Hey everybody, how you doing? Actually, they are useful. You still put the bag in there and you pull the bag out so that it actually is useful. But we don't need it over here. We need to take it over towards the trash. This is all trash, trash. So I'm about to load a bucket full of trash, y'all. I gotta go easy, man. My not because I'm complaining all the time. It's somebody in the thing is telling. I not complaining about my knee, it was getting boring or something like that. But you know what? My knee hurts and it's going to be complained about. So, and now my back. It's tough getting old, right? Oh, no. Oh, man. You guys all right? You guys always fall over. I should probably do this. I'll make your feet wider down there so you can stay up. Yeah, how's that? Luckily the phone didn't hit the, it landed on the, it landed right here, actually, on the spike. But luckily it didn't, uh, the phone didn't hit it and it break. I guess you can dump out the dirt before I go dump on the dirt in the dumpster. <laughs> so I'm starting to get it picked up a little bit. I get these rocks out of here. Uh, again, now we're going to start going through all these and getting rid of all that garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Look over here, it's pretty tidy. I'll do some more tightening up, straighten up over there. Check between the dumpsters and again, get the rest of this stuff picked up, this trash, and uh, that will be looking pretty good over here. Yeah, definitely. Almost down to the bottom. Yeah, they're all broken. Well, uh, I don't say all just yet because I have now found three that aren't broken. So see that the bottom's usually broken. That's busted over. So. Three out of about a hundred. Better than none. See, bottom's broke. It's mowed over. That's probably a um, culprit of the dies or of the dozer. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so now that we got rid of all these broken ones that have no use, uh, these ones aren't broken. Again, these are from the Vintage Series. We'll go ahead and pull these up and uh, put them in here. And if there are any that are broken, we will obviously dispose of them. Yeah, these I can understand saving because they're still good. Uh, I can still use that one. But the other ones, and like that one, no sense. That one's trash. The vintage spikes or vintage check markers for the vintage race. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's a cool. It's a LFDF TV. Rob, the Roadrunner Rally, is in route right now to Willis World. He'll probably be there once we get home today. Um, yeah, so we got that show this weekend. Looking forward to that. Uh, another cool thing is check this out. Is that guess what? The Sean Goodman is coming to the show. He's gonna stay the night. We're gonna have a good time. He's gonna help with the show. He's might be. He's just probably gonna be my co-host at the show. So uh, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Looking forward to that. So stick around. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting these booked up. So I'm gonna set you over here for now. Don't fall. Starting to get a little better. Get them wood sticks out the trash cans picked up. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot, lot nicer. Now comes a long trip across the property. Oh, my lens does need cleaning. It did. I really glad you see it. Just, I'm not so sure I'm really happy with this phone case that I have. I think I'm gonna go back to the screen saver and put that on and take the phone out of the case. One, I think it hampers the microphone. Two, you can always hear the, I believe. So. Long journey across the chunk. And way out in the back, obviously the chack's behind me. But uh, the dumpsters are over here. Water's a little bit darker down there. Let's see if I can get a better view of that. Now I gotta climb down. Try find the way in over there and no luck. So uh, maybe we'll try later. So I found another way over. Let's see if I could show you what I'm talking about. Now all this is all off limits to the uh, to the public and to the to the racers and all. These are special trails for the mountain bike races. Oh man, where is it at? Trails everywhere. I think I see a spot. All right, so I found it. Are you ready? Are you ready to look down in the quarry? Ready? Boom. I got a palm tree down there. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I'll see if I can see the gator in there, but I don't think so. You don't want to fall in because it's just straight up walls all the way around. I'm not sure if you can get down in this quarry or not, but 
All right, let me get back over here and finish up this stuff. Yeah, I did put my sweatshirt back on. There's a little chilly ride over there. I'll be out to be taking it off. So here's what I'm gonna do, because there's still, I mean, still some good steaks in here. I'm gonna use this black barrel, I'm gonna put it over here, and I'm gonna fill the black barrel with the majority of the good steaks here until it's filled up. And then I see a lot of old rotten ones down low there that uh, we're gonna trash those, but well, we're gonna burn them. Let me show you. Let me show you. Uh, tell me, tell me this doesn't look so much better, make much more sense. Uh, obviously, the big container full of broken ones before, but now it's slap full of a bunch of good ones. Uh, they're used for another jack. Actually, I pulled this over here, but I'm gonna pull it back um, and I'm gonna stack the other wood sticks on that power there. Stay right there. You stay. So, for pretty much basically, we'll just be making like a a vintage steak area because we're not going to obviously throw away all the steaks but i'm going to go through them as you see we're going to start the barrel stack the rest here but there's some that seem to be good but you can see where the termites got into them which means they're rotten and then they'll snap off and that's what we don't want so the shorter steaks i actually put down here I got a lot of steaks to get. <laughs> Four hours later. Actually not, but <laughs> I've been digging through these steaks. So got my pile going. The, got the good ones in here, decent ones. Ones that are taller than the can are gonna be there. Getting down to some other rotted ones in here. We're still gonna pick through them, get the rest of the good ones out of there, and then uh, the rest of them are going to the burn pile. Well, I found a chair so far underneath it. See if it still works. Boom. Oh yeah. What else are we gonna find? Ooh, I just seen a it's been an old time pressure sheet two by four. Nice. Ooh, I'll take out the chair. How do I say it? Little by little, right? Well uh as I get down here, it looks like these steaks are uh, like a little bit smaller of steaks. So I went ahead and got another barrel and I'm gonna go ahead and start a barrel of the small steaks too. That way, maybe I might be for the lines or something up front, I'm not sure, but we're not gonna throw those away. They're still good. But, uh, well, I'll throw the bad ones away, but I'm gonna make another barrel of those. So it's getting there, man. It's starting to look a lot better, a little bit more organized. Pretty happy about that. And uh, I'll just keep getting at it. And then I gotta get home, meet up at LFDF TV uh, and start getting ready for our show this weekend. Are you excited about that? Leave a comment because the Sean Goodman's coming and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm excited. Probably going to do a lot of live. So uh, stick around, have fun, and uh, let me get back out there. I think I'll get a sweat rag. Go <laughs> Obviously, I had to go dump that. Um, so uh, then come back and I'll finish this up right here. Should just about be done over here. I'll get the rest of this trash stuff picked up and then uh, I'm going to start moving some of these implements and get them over here. Uh, that way it's all kind of organized and lined up, so, all right. Alrighty. I got it done. Are you guys ready to see it? Man, it's so much more better than what it was. Again, uh, you know, it's, it's you know, definitely now that I've been out here at the, at the track and, you know, three of us out here trying to get everything done, it's, you know, a little bit more facilitating if you will to kind of keep up with everything so uh pretty pumped to be able to get this looking really good so are you ready to see it one two am i gonna kid you out no three ah just kidding check it out boom man that area looks so much better those are for the long big steaks in the black bucket the long skinny steaks in the blue bucket the shorter steaks on the oh, down there and then obviously our track markers for our vintage race. So basically our vintage steaks right there are brand new steaks and track markers are inside the rent coat container. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and go get a sweat towel because I did get sweaty um, and uh, get some movie theater butter popcorn. I've been, I've been uh, addicted to that lately. I've been eating it. Probably shouldn't. Well, and I got some pickles. So I didn't film none of it. 
just because I had to get it done. And uh, ah, caught. And uh, trying to get it done and filming, moving all the uh, implements around is a little bit difficult. So, oh, here goes Paul. Here it is. Yeah, what's up with it now? Got all the old implements back over there. You back right up to them if you need them. The new ones right in here. They circle right around in, pick them up, get to go. Look at them. Ah, <laughs> uh. uh, shenanigans. Get her back, shenanigans. Well, mission accomplished. We got this all organized, straightened up. I get to, when I get to skid steer, I'll go ahead and get these pipes cleaned up over here and get that low area cleaned up a little bit better. But uh, yeah, got all our safe, got our implements where they need to be. I moved all our other big equipment around, our old equipment over there like I showed you. So um, we're good to go. Time for me to get out of here and get back to the house because this weekend is my freestyle show. So super excited about that. Montverde there in Lake Apopka and near Orlando. So I'll actually, um, if I can, I'll try and put the flyer up right now. No, right now. If it worked, that's when I did it. But if it didn't, then I didn't do it. But, um, yeah, so we'll be there. Maybe we'll see LRG. He might be there. Hopefully he'll be there. But uh, who will be there is going to be the Sean Goodman. So uh, look for some videos of that coming out here pretty soon. Uh, big thanks to everybody for watching me. Come along my journey as I uh, just whatever I'm doing. You know, I just bring you all along. Uh, I really enjoy you guys uh, and your fan mail, um, your viewership, your... Your, your likes, your subscriptions, your, and don't forget, subscription, subscribing is absolutely free. It doesn't cost you anything. But uh, just watching, and uh, my face is probably not, the sun is probably dark. But I'm having a good time with me. Again, as we just get a little bit closer and closer to the big giant national race, the largest amateur motocross race in the world, uh, I got my show this weekend, and I got the Miami show coming up. Man, it's just, ah, ah. Yeah, that's how, ah. That's how it is. But you guys get to enjoy it, enjoy it and watch it with me. So uh, once again, thanks a lot for hanging out. And oh, going to get uh, meet up with LFDF TV. So if you don't know, you better know. You better go subscribe to them because we're going to do a lot of stuff with them from now on out to the, well, for a while now because he's down doing a show this weekend. you going to Miami and then wow, all kinds of stuff. All right. Look, I'm going I'm to just gonna gently just push you over until you fall. I'll, I'll, I'll let you go. Ah! Gotcha. Ba -da -ba. Mm -hmm.